Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be God's kingdom now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And, and peace, peace to his people on earth. earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, Christ with the Holy Spirit, Spirit, in the glory of God, God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Father in heaven, by your grace, the Virgin Mother of your incarnate Son was blessed in bearing him, but still more blessed in keeping your word. Grant us who honor the exaltation of her lowliness to follow the example of her devotion to your will. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Sing aloud, O daughter Zion, shout, O Israel. Rejoice and exult with all your heart, O daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has taken away the judgments against you. He has turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You shall fear disaster no more. On that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Do not fear, O Zion. Do not let your hands grow weak. The Lord your God is in your midst, a warrior who gives victory. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will renew you in his love. He will exalt over you with loud singing as on a day of festival. I will remove disaster from you so that you will not bear reproach for it. I will deal with all your oppressors at that time, and I will save the lame and gather the outcast, and I will change their shame into praise and renown in all the earth. At that time I will bring you home, at the time when I gather you, for I will make you renowned and praised among all the peoples of the earth, when I restore your fortunes before your eyes, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Christ. In those days, Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in the hill country, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me, that the mother of my Lord comes to me? For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb leapt for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. So on this day, this first Wednesday of after um, after the the Wednesday after the first Sunday of um, Pentecost, we celebrate the visitation of the Virgin Mary. It's actually the date was May 30, but we move it because it's one of those feasts that you can move. And so we're still in white today, and it's that story where Mary expecting Jesus, pregnant with Jesus, goes some distance to visit her cousin, Elizabeth, who is also 
expecting a child, and she is expecting John the Baptist, of course, we learn. And it's that wonderful story where two cousins who are both pregnant greet one another, and the children in their wombs are alive and greet one another as well, and they leap for joy. John the Baptist leaps for joy at the voice of the mother of Jesus, at the presence of God, God's self. That wonderful story. And then at the end of that story, Mary says her words, the Magnificat. My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he's looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed. For the mighty one has done great things for me. And holy is his name. So what the, that's the beginning of the Magnificat as you and I know it. But there's a longer text to the Magnificat, and in that longer text to the Magnificat, Mary exclaims how God is doing a new thing. God is literally turning the world upside down. He is exalting the lowly and lowering the mighty. He is raising up those who have no power, and he is taking away the power of those who do. And on this particular day, when we witness around us abuse of power, I take such great joy in knowing that God is with us, and it is God, the very same God that you and I love and adore, who says that the powerless will have power, that the abuse of power will no longer be, that the kingdom of God is coming, and in the kingdom of God there is justice for all. I rejoice on this particular day as we mark the visitation of two women who changed the world, both of whose children will be killed because they dare to challenge power. I take heart that God is in our midst, that the Holy Spirit guides us, protects us, leads us forward, and on this day where we celebrate the visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary, may you and I remember that God comes into the world and turns the tables upside down. Let us proclaim our faith with the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being of the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate of the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And this kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church. That we all may be one. Grant that every member of the Church may truly and humbly serve you. That your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for Michael, our presiding bishop, Peter, our bishop, and the clergy of this parish. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons. That they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacraments. 
We pray for Donald, our president, Ron, our governor, and the mayor and members of the town council. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world. That there may be justice and peace on earth. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake. That our works may find favor in your sight. We remember all those who are or recently have been hospitalized, especially Michaela and Lucy. We pray for all those in our parish prayer list, especially those we name silently or aloud. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble. That they may be delivered from their distress. We pray for all who have died, especially those we name silently or aloud. Give to the departed eternal rest. Let light perpetual shine upon them. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom. Let us pray for our own needs and those of others. Almighty God, to whom our needs are known before we ask, help us to ask only what accords with your will. And those good things which we dare not, or in our blindness cannot ask, grant us for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess, confess that, that we have, have sinned, sinned against you in thought, word, word and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you your, all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Peace. Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving, and make good your vows to the Most High. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. Because in the mystery of the Word made flesh, you have caused a new light to shine in our hearts, to give the knowledge of your glory in the face of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me.
After supper, he took a cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ, Christ is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will come again. again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also, that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace, and at the last day bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore let us keep the feast, Alleluia. The gifts of God, for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as the living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace, and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart, through Christ our Lord. May Christ's holy, healing, enabling spirit be with you every step of the way, and be your guide as your road changes and turns. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>